Now we're going to set the table. To set the table, you need a table. Well, we've got a table. And particularly if family, friends are coming over, you have a tablecloth. Otherwise, if you're just with your immediate family, maybe you just need table mats, place mats also they're called. These, as you can see, are from the West Indies. And we like them in the winter because they remind us of what it's like to have nice water to swim in. On your nice tablecloth, if you have a glass and you don't want to spill, you have what's called a coaster. Now let's look at the tableware. We were just mentioning glasses. Here are different kinds of glasses. This one, I think you know what goes in. It's not for Coca-Cola. It's for champagne. A water glass. A wine glass. This one is for white wine. And this smaller one, we put red wine in. Then, after the meal is over, if you want to have something a little bit stronger, you take a mini glass like that. This is a napkin, which Americans call napkin. Sometimes the English or Canadians or Australians will call it serviette. I guess you know what that word comes from. A dinner plate. A smaller plate, sometimes used for salad or a large dessert. Then we have a bowl, that's B-O-W-L, in case you were wondering, not B-O-L, for soup or another kind of food. A coffee cup a small coffee cup, and usually in the English-speaking countries you don't find a cup this small. This is more for an espresso, right? With a teaspoon. Now it may sound strange, but if I have coffee and I want to stir the sugar, I still use not a coffee spoon, but a teaspoon. Here is a teacup. But in English-speaking countries, often you put coffee in a teacup. And then you can call it a coffee cup. A saucer. A big teacup, if you're really into lots of tea. I certainly wouldn't fill this with coffee and drink it. It'd be too much. Then cutlery a salad fork or a cake fork, a regular fork, knife, and a large spoon like that for soup, for instance, uh, we call a soup spoon or tablespoon also.